Mwamikiri ya jeno, mwane jofe kuhulimwa the commander of this school and the host today. Your Excellence, on behalf of this military training school, however, and on my own behalf, I take this honor and privilege to welcome you all and everybody present at this momentous occasion of commissioning of Mr. Kades, intake 18 of the year 23 24. Sir, and our guests, the officer before us have been sharpened in their veins and strengthened their bodies, both of which are needed for the responsibilities of living in the ministry. Your Excellency and the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commanding Chief of the UPDF, ladies and gentlemen, this intake graduating today speaks volumes about the best military training school and the approach to the training. Of success of intake 18 of 23, 24 alone, began their training on the 17th of July last year, and the largest room where UPF in service cadets, cadets from internal security organization, cadets from external security organization, from Atano Cadets from Republic of Mali and Atano Cadets from the Republic of Tanzania. Your Excellency, I have no doubt at the back of my mind that all the objectives were met and the successful cadets have internalized the subject matter by achieving all the necessary training standards that would help them to fulfill their duties in defending the nation and beyond in a more dignified and patriotic manner. It is my great honor to stand before you today and share with you this most special day as you commission and become future leaders of our great army and the armies of our close allies. I know how hard you have all worked over the past year and I hope you are proud of your achievements. This moment marks a significant milestone in your military careers. Having attended and survived a commissioning course like this 25 years ago, I think I have an idea of what you have gone through. All officers who have completed a commissioning course like this one have experienced the exhaustion, the fear, the self-doubt, and the anxiety that comes with a grueling course like this. However, what you remember most as the years go by are the friendships forged through the hardships and the humor you all would have experienced in the most trying times. As you step into your roles as commissioned officers, remember that leadership is not merely a position, but a profound responsibility. You are entrusted with the lives of those under your command, the security of our nation, and the upholding of the highest standards of integrity, discipline, and professionalism. In every decision you make, let the principles of duty, honor, and love of country guide you. Be steadfast in your commitment to serve and protect, to lead by example, and to inspire those around you. Your legacy as officers will be defined not only by your achievements, but by the trust and respect you earn from those you lead. You are joining the UPDF at a demanding time. Africa and the world are undergoing profound changes. The old challenges of the African peoples are re-emerging in new ways. 
they still seek to dominate and exploit our continent. The friendships you have made here with the cadets from our brother countries will serve you, our country and continent well in the years to come. As Che Guevara used to say, the solidarity of the weak can overpower the strong. Today, as you don your new pips, you have not only just become young officers, you are now guardians of our nation's sovereignty and defenders of our people. Stand tall, lead with integrity and honor. Throughout your careers, avoid staining your names with the evils of corruption, cowardice, treachery, and indolence. Your Excellency, as stated earlier, these people have been here for a, a course of more than 11 months, and it is not only geared towards continued drive to professionalize in UPDF by equipping young commanders with leadership skills, tactics, and discipline. It also resonates with your guidance that you have always given us on the African strategic security, regional security and cooperation, and lastly, Pan-Africanism. As the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, we are dedicated to this cause. Your Excellency, sir, the composition of the, the, composition of the officer cadet intake, as it is drawn from the different African countries, and the presence of dignitaries from various nations underscores what you have always emphasized, modern security and defense challenges are not confined by borders. They therefore require a unified response, one that transcends national boundaries and fosters international cooperation. Joint trainings promote a common understanding and approach to international and cross-border security challenges such as terrorism, natural disasters, cyber threats, among others. Uh, to the graduates, I would like to congratulate you. As the commander stated, you have undergone rigorous training, overcome numerous challenges, and displayed commitment to the ideals of service and duty. You have proven yourselves worthy of the trust and responsibility that comes with leadership. And you should thank God because you started as a big number and you're lucky that you're among the few that have been able to conclude. First of all, I congratulate the new officers. Congratulations. Part of the problem of the African armies, they look at army as a job. As, as, as a job, as cars, Chibarua. When you are defending your country, it's not a job. This is part of the problem. Because we started off as a student movement in the 1960s. We were a student movement. Then when India then came to the government, we became a resistance movement. From student movement to resistance movement. Now during that time, Mariam Nyerere was supporting us. And he could support us because we were very clear. We were never paid from 1971 up to 1987, 17 years, we were fighting for no pay. Fighting for the cause of our country. And the support we were getting from Marimu was just the gun, the bullet, some food, that's how we were able to bring our land. Marimu had to meet to train 28 people, in Mozambique between 1976 
1978. This, this army is from that group, from 1928. But the issue is that fighting is not a job. It is a cause. If you start from there, you are not going to go home. So therefore, we have, we have people who come knowing that don't bring a careerist mentality in, the, in our army. A careerist, careerism, a job, a job, a job, a job. No, this is the cause. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, by Article 98, Clause 1 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, made on 1995, and Section 8, Clause 1 of the Uganda People's Defense Forces Act 2005, do hereby commission you to be officers of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. of the ranks of lieutenants and second lieutenants from today, the 4th of June, 2024.